I, I don't see myself as someone who makes hands. I see what I do as giving people experiences. The skilled engineer has dedicated his life to helping children who need prosthetic limbs, and he does it all for free. My name is Matt Botel, and I'm a prosthetic limb innovator. That's working. So we are here in my workshop. It's really, really quite small. It's been converted from a single car garage. And I've got some Bunnings racks here um, with very low cost 3D printers sitting on them. Here we have the latest prototype of my kinetic hand. Um, so, which is being printed at the moment on these printers. The last Camry has rolled off the production line at Victoria's Toyota plant. More than 2,000 workers are now out of a job. When I was at Toyota, I and, and going through this redundancy process, I completely eliminated money from the equation and thought, if money was not a factor, what would I do with my life? And this is what I came up with. About one in 10,000 children are born without fingers. Unfortunately, prosthetics are very, very expensive. This is a traditional prosthetic arm. This was given to a six-year-old girl and it's worth about $15,000. And she grew out of it in about six months and then wasn't able to get funding for a second one. But this can be made for about $8 and using wrist movement, the child's able to open and close their hand to do simple things that we take for granted like pick up a cup or ride a bicycle. Along my journey, um, people have been wanting to help me to continue working as a volunteer. I've got people helping me to pay rent, you know, to buy groceries. So all of these materials and, and most of these 3D printers, I've been through crowdfunding and people just wanting to, to get on board and, and help me to do it. As part of my Westpac Social Change Fellowship, I was lucky enough to be able to go on a global tour around the world to visit leading prosthetic and bionic companies. And it was just amazing, you know, I never would have been able to do that um, without Westpac support. So now I'm developing a bionic arm that I'm hoping is going to be far superior to anything else available, equivalent to a $40,000 multifunction arm. By squeezing the arm, it's um, squeezing this uh, sensor here, which is operating the servo. So I'm hoping to be able to make my bionic arm for about $50 in parts, um, which will be quite revolutionary. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Look, uh, some of my designs, um, I could have made a lot of money from them. As I started to make things for people for free, um, the amount of satisfaction and reward that I got back came back a thousandfold. And I think if I had have charged someone even one dollar for, for something that I made, in my mind it would only be worth a dollar. And when you make it for someone with no expectation of reward and you give it to them for free, then it becomes priceless. You can see everything from up here, can't you? As a parent, you want to do anything that you can for your child and you want to give them every opportunity that you can. You could imagine if you had a child born without a hand and they were declined funding, um, how it would absolutely break your heart if you couldn't do anything for them. That's something that I can control and, and, and do for people. It looks like something that I might be able to do for a long time to come. <laughs>